Hey there, I didn't even see you there. Wow, what a coincidence is that you're here. Large Bass Fisherman here, guys. Today I'm changing the oil on my Bass Tracker 175. I've got a 60 horsepower Mercury four stroke engine and I've got an oil change kit straight from Mercury here. It comes with three liters, you heard that right, liters, not quarts, of oil. Comes with an oil filter and a new crush washer. Uh, super simple oil change, guys. I'm gonna run you guys through it really fast. In the box. You've got three liters. You read that correctly, liters. These are not quarts because your boat call, your engine calls for three liters, not three quarts. You've got your oil filter here, a drain, and a new crush washer for your drain plug. Okay, you guys will need an oil funnel, a socket, 11 16 and an oil filter wrench. You also need an oil drain pan and you wanna make sure that your motor is level. You'll pull this latch here and this allows your cover to come off your motor. You wanna set this motor cover to the side. Look how clean that thing is, man. All right, guys, so you've got your oil filter right there and then your fill right here, this yellow cup. Your drain plug is located right here, left side of your engine. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your oil cap so that you can get the oil to flow out of your boat engine quicker. So you'll take your 11 16 socket, break this loose, take it out. I've already broken it loose for the sake of the video. You will unscrew this. Oil is gonna come shooting out of here into this pan, so be careful and make sure you offset your drain pan. Once the oil gets closer to the motor, you can simply push the drain pan up under it. You can also trim your motor up at this point to help the oil come out easier. Make sure to clean and inspect your drain plug with a rag. Take your old seal off and replace it with the new one that comes in the kit. And these are unidirectional, so it doesn't matter which way you put it on. Take your rag clean out this opening where your drain plug goes then reinstall your drain plug with your new seal. Take your 11 16 socket and tighten it down. You don't have to crank too hard, you just want to get it good and tight. You don't want to do too much because this part of this washer is rubber so it will help seal. All right guys, so when you replace this oil filter right here, you wanna do your best not to let the oil drain into the bottom of your engine down there. These engines are really clean and you don't want anything else getting it dirty. So you'll take your drain tool. And it fits right in there perfectly so that any oil that comes out of this filter won't go into the bottom of that motor. Just like that. As you can see, this piece right here just makes it so that the oil doesn't drain into the bottom of your motor. It's pretty convenient. I like to take my finger and get a little bit of the old oil on it and rub it around this seal. And the reason that you rub it around the seal is so that when you're twisting it on, you don't accidentally peel the rubber off of your oil filter. From here, you're just gonna put all three liters of oil in the engine. Now all that's left to do 
is to reinstall the drain plug. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to level out my motor. I'm going to take my safety switch out, which I'll show you here in just a second, and then I'm going to crank it. The reason I'm taking my safety switch out is because I don't want the motor to actually turn over completely and turn on and burn out my impeller. And the reason that I'm doing this is just to circulate oil through the engine so that I can check my oil level. Now your dipstick for your engine is gonna be located right here, just beside the oil filter. You wanna pull this out, wipe it off, reinsert, and check your levels. If you can see, I'm right at the max oil level line. Well, that's it guys. Mercury 60 horsepower outboard oil change. You guys got any questions? Leave a comment. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching.